All right, let's look at how to solve one of these problems. So in this case, we're looking at a question where it's asking, if you have this many grams of one element, how many grams of some other element has the same number of atoms? So game plan for something like this, I'm going to take grams of the one I'm given, in this case, aluminum, and convert it to moles of aluminum. And I'm going to take advantage of a special property. See, moles is just how many things you have. So if they have the same number of atoms, they have the same number of moles. So that means once I convert grams of aluminum to moles of aluminum, that's equal to moles of the other material. In this case, it's gold. And then I can convert moles of gold to grams of gold. And that will give me the final answer. Okay, so this is how it's going to look. Uh, well, here we go. Write down what the question gives me. 65.55 grams of aluminum. 65.55 grams of aluminum. And I'm going to convert that from grams of aluminum to moles of aluminum. So, looking at the periodic table, I'm going to take what it says and round to the hundredths place. So that uh, gives a molar mass of 26.98. So here's what I'm going to do. I know I need grams to cancel, so grams goes on the bottom. Molar mass is grams per mole, so grams per mole. And then the way molar mass works is the, it, on the periodic table, what you're seeing here, this is the mass of one mole. So according to the periodic table, one mole of aluminum, and I'll specify one mole of aluminum, has a mass of 26.98 grams of aluminum. Yeah, and make sure to specify what element I'm talking about because obviously if this is a different element, put a different number here. Anyway, it wants to do that. It's a matter of simply calculating. So, uh, well, let's do that. Okay, so let's see. 65.55 divided by 26.98. That gives an answer of 2.42, whatever, all that long business. So, not done with the calculation yet, not rounding for significant figures yet, do not round until the end. So I'm going to write out, well, most of these digits anyway, uh, 2.42977, yeah, that'll do. Um, let's see, grams cancels grams to give moles, moles of aluminum. Okay, at this point I have done this. Now I'm going to make this jump. I'm going to say if they have the same number of atoms, then this, these two samples have the same number of moles. So I'm going to say if there's that many moles of aluminum, then there is the same number of moles, the 2.429577 whatever, moles of gold. Well, now I have done this. Last bit, convert moles of gold to grams of gold. So here we go. In fact, I'll just do it right here. Uh, let's see, moles of gold to grams of gold. So I need to use grams per mole. I'm going to use the molar mass in the periodic table. So I'm going to do grams per mole. That way moles cancels moles. So that will be grams of gold per moles of gold. And according to the periodic table, one mole of gold has a mass of, oh, let's see, right here, 196.97. So 196.97. That is the mass of one mole of gold. Okay, so according to this, I just take this number and times it by that. So I've still got that number on the calculator, so I'm now going to times it by 196.97. There's the final answer, 478 grams of gold. Let's see, I'll put that down here. Now, uh, let's round for significant figures. Four sig figs, four sig figs, uh, ignore that. Um, five sig figs, so I'm going to round to four significant figures, or 478.6 grams of gold has the same number of atoms as 65.55 grams of aluminum. Not much of a surprise because a gold atom is way bigger than an aluminum atom, so yeah, unsurprisingly the same number of atoms is going to weigh a lot more. Just the same as like 12 elephants would weigh a lot more than 12 mice. So uh, let's do this. You've seen an example Here are some more similar questions. Take some time to look at these. Try these out. 
Let's see if I can get these so that all of it's on screen. Maybe I'll zoom out just a little bit to make sure all the questions are visible. Okay. So let's do this. Pause this video now. I'll put the answers up soon. All right. I'll assume you paused and worked it out. Tell you what. Here are the worked out solutions to all of those problems. Any questions? About, uh, you can see a uh, change to these, it turns out that these particular elements would be rather troublesome if you try to work with these. There's a particular trick that we have that uh, you may be watching this at a time that we haven't gone over it yet. Um, so that's why for now we use these ones that I put in instead of the scribble out ones. Um, any questions about these? Please talk to your teachers or your tutor or your peers.